accurate phase shift measurement between two sine waves. Here we introduce two phase shift measurement methods. Method 1, through Lissajous pattern on oscilloscope, which is basically a time domain method. Method 2, through FFT analysis on spectrum analyzer, which is a frequency domain method. The setup we are going to use for this demonstration is based on the software, multi-instrument, and oscilloscope, spectrum analyzer, and signal generator software, which can be downloaded from our website at www.beertins.com or www.multiinstrument.com. The hardware of the setup is a computer with a sound card. The connection from the signal generator to the oscilloscope is through a loopback established at sound card mixer level without any external physical connection. Let's start from the scratch. Stop the oscilloscope and the signal generator, and then go to setting, ADC device. To establish the loopback, in the device number selection box, select an item named something like stereo mix, wave out mix or what you hear. If it is not listed there, then you should go to the recording control of the Windows control panel to enable it first. Open the signal generator and generate 1 kHz sine waves in both channels with no phase shift. Change the screen layout such that the X and Y axes of the oscilloscope have similar screen scales. This will help us to observe the phase of a juice pattern on the oscilloscope. Select the oscilloscope frame width to be 100 milliseconds. Right click anywhere within the spectrum analyzer window, select spectrum analyzer processing, then select harmonics. In multi-instrument, in order for the spectrum analyzer to display the initial phase of the captured waveform, the FFT size must be less than or equal to the record length of the oscilloscope, and greater than half of the record length. The current record length is 4800, so we change the FFT size to 4096. As you can see from the screen, the initial phase of the waveform is correctly detected. Switch to Lissajous pattern mode. We can display the phase value in a bigger font using DDP viewer. Click the DDP viewer button, in the derived data point selection box, select F1 phase underscore A. Let's rename it to phase for channel A. Click the DDP viewer button again, in the derived data point selection box, select F1 phase underscore B. Rename it to phase for channel B. We further define a derived data point for phase shift between the two channels. Click the DDP viewer button again, in the derived data point selection box, select UDDP3, Enter the mathematical expression for the phase shift. phase of channel B minus phase of channel A. Give it a unit. D for degree.
Now, on the signal generator panel, change the phase difference between the two channels to 90. As you can see, the measured phase shift value and Lissajuice pattern change accordingly. To browse through the variation of Lissajuice pattern with phase difference we can use an equivalent method, that is, keep the initial phase difference at zero, instead, add a very small amount of frequency difference in channel A. Now, set channel A to 1000.1 Hz. The tiny frequency difference between the two channels effectively make the displayed Lissajuice pattern change continuously with the continuous variation of the phase difference. Now, let's see how robust the two methods are when the signals under test contain some noises. We use the multi-tone function of the signal generator. Assign a 1 kHz sine wave with an initial phase of 0 to channel A, assign a 1 kHz sine wave with an initial phase of 90 degree to channel B. Then, add a white noise with an amplitude of one-fifth of that of the sine wave to both channels. Generate the signal. Both methods detect with phase shift of the 1 kHz sine wave correctly. Take a look at the waveforms. The small undulation of the measured phase shift in the spectrum analyzer is due to the fact that white noise contains perturbations at 1 kHz, which affects the measurement accuracy of the phase shift at 1 kHz. What if we add a sine wave of another frequency instead of white noise? Let's add 2.3 kHz sine wave with an amplitude of 9 tenths of that of the 1 kHz sine wave to both channels. Generate the signal. As you can see, Lissajous pattern fails to indicate the correct phase shift of the 1 kHz sine waves, but the measured phase shift in the spectrum analyzer is still very accurate. In conclusion, both Lissajous pattern and FFT can be used to measure frequency shift between two sine waves. FFT-based method is frequency selective and thus more robust under noisy environment. We will follow up with some applications of the conclusion here. One application is to measure the sound speed. Verdim's technology. Turn a PC into multiple virtual instruments.